hey guys uh, this video is gonna be on quad dominant meshing in Salome so I got myself fair apart and it's quite a simple geometry as you can see and we are gonna create a mesh over it and that mesh is gonna be uh, quad dominant so let's go to the meshing module so there are uh, various ways you can go about it there are two possibilities in Salome the first one is to create a mesh through net chain so I'll select 2d and then for my algorithm I'll select net chain 1d 2d and for the parameters I will just key in some uh, logical values here and then I'll check this box which says to allow quadrangles and for the fineness I'll try to use the custom one here so if it's uh, so fineness is actually the growth of uh, of the elements so if you give a low value uh, most of the elements will be of uniform size so I'll say ok and let's see the mesh ok so this is my mesh and as you can see the all the surface has been mostly uh, quadrangles and below quadrangles we have got pyramids so if I go to the uh, mesh information you see it has created quite a few pyramids here and the rest is filled by tats so that's one way of going about it the other way is to create a G mesh over it so this time I'll select the algorithm to be G mesh and I'll change the properties here so I'll check this one recombine triangular meshes and for 2d algorithm there are uh, certain settings there that will affect the quality of output or the type of output so let's first try with Delone and I like to select frontal hex here max size you need to check to suit your value and then let's say compute so it's going a lot slow actually I don't know why okay so it's done yes so you see these are the quads and the trials that I've got but obviously uh, there are a lot more triangles now and again it has used pyramids and tats to create the interior mesh so if you just try to see the spectral ratio that's, that's the problem with gmesh some of the elements are so badly shaped you see the value here that's just too high so you can actually use some of the filters to uh, select and filter out these elements and then just delete them uh, I'm not going into that detail now so let's just re-edit my mesh and from Delone I'll select Delone for quads let's see what happens now okay so again my mesh has a lot of pyramids but it's much more regularly shaped compared to the previous 
uh, algorithm that we followed obviously some faces are flipped but we can always change their orientations so I will recommend this method here and which is basically delon for quads with frontal hex and if if you want to skip some edges over here you don't want uh, to necessarily mesh them you can create a face explosion of the part like this and then just simply add these faces here like that so it will not try to uh, mesh all the small edges of a face so you can avoid unnecessary refinement let's just just try one more thing we'll we'll change from frontal x to delone now let's see what happens yeah so you see it's failing and it's failing because uh, and delone for quads doesn't work with frontal delone you have to set a frontal hex uh, hopefully it should be successful okay so it is successful so these are the two methods in Salome I hope it was useful thanks for watching